Hi there everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do tamales. I have 32 ounces of pork lard and 32 ounces of vegetable shortening. You may want to use a little bit more of 32 ounces of vegetable shortening depending of your masa and I will tell you why. Start by combining the two fats inside a mixer and beat it until you have a fluffy consistency, almost like icing. At this point, it's looking like buttercream. And this is a very important step to preparing your masa because you're adding air onto the fat and that's going to help you fluff up the masa. The reason that we beat the fats is to get air inside the mixture so once we mix the fats together with the masa it's gonna make the masa fluffier and that's gonna give you a fluffy and soft tamale I will explain you the difference between the masas this is 14 pounds of masa para tamales which is a much more grainier coarse and loose it's very clumpy and this is straight from a tortilla meal. They sell different types of masa there, which is uh, masa for tortillas and masa for tamales. I use this kind to make tamales. Some people use the masa for tortillas uh, to make other types of tamales as well. But today I'm using this coarse one, which I like it because it gives you a more softer and fluffier tamale. You might see little pieces of corn kernels or hominy mixed in. Just pick them out and you'll be good. Now we're going to mix in the lard inside to onto the masa and we're going to knead it with our hands um, to be able to incorporate all that fat inside the masa. And yes, I made sure that my hands were clean. It's hard working with just one hand and trying to record. So yes, I was back and forth washing my hands. I'm not gonna lie, it was very satisfying to mix the masa with the fat. Working with 14 pounds of masa is not easy, but it's very satisfying. Let's try a little bit of ASMR. Now you can see the texture is changing on the masa. It's becoming fluffier. It's all well incorporated. And this is a sign that the masa is gaining air pockets. And that's what we want to achieve. Next is the baking powder. I'm just gonna eyeball about two tablespoons of baking powder. And now with the salt, about three to four tablespoons of salt, but you might need to add a little bit more. We want a salty masa, not too salty to the point that it's unbearable. We need enough salt to give it flavor because once we start cooking the tamales, it will lose some of the salt. It's time to test the masa. So you grab a little bit of the dough and put it inside a glass of water if it sinks it's not ready and that is caused by two things either it needs more kneading or as I had mentioned in the video that you might need a little bit more than 32 ounces of vegetable shortening and if it's that then add a little bit more to your masa and start kneading and then you'll see the difference so I had added a little bit more of vegetable shortening and it kind of did float but then i added a little bit more and then started kneading and then voila we have the floating masa in the cup that's the sign that the masa is ready and now it's time to mix in the pork broth so this is the broth that the meat was cooking in and I had reserved the pork broth to a side and I started with one liter of the pork broth and mix it in very gently. 
it was kind of warm not too hot not too cold and once you incorporate it all together add another liter which is four cups of the broth until you have a mashed potato consistency we don't want it too thick or too watery just loose the consistency of mashed potatoes or applesauce from there just keep adding one cup at a time so now that we have our masa ready we are going to start working with our green sauce pork so this is actually pulled pork mixed in with green sauce I forgot to record most of the folding process but it's actually just adding salsa onto the corn husk that was softened and cleaned with hot water I forgot to record most of the folding process but I will show you in another video how I fold the tamales now we have our steamer ready organize all your tamales inside standing up like this and you're gonna steam them for approximately an hour or until your tamales unstick from the corn husk when you unfold one so it took an hour and a half to completely cook these tamales and they were so delicious here is Leilani eating one of my tamales with a cup of arroz con leche until next time with another cooking video with Angelica.